Hi everyone! Today I am making a video of solo traveling. I have done uh, one video of this uh, before, but now I have actually gone solo traveling and I have some thoughts. Both times I was there for two weeks and had a wonderful time. I was worried about a couple of things and I think that's all natural when you are going out for a solo travel. Um, and for sure when it's your first one. Uh, the second time I wasn't so nervous anymore. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Many people have asked me that where did you get the nerve to go or that. They have said that oh you're so brave to go alone. <laughs> That's not totally the case. Um, I was really nervous at the first time and a little bit on the second time too. And I think that's that's part of it. Um, but yeah, you shouldn't just not to go because you're afraid. And everything turned out good in the end. One thing to think about about solo traveling is the safety. And when you are a woman, you have to really think. Um, but I don't really know much about that because I went to Japan and though Tokyo is extremely big and it was far far away from my home and I don't really talk a lot of Japanese, just uh, very uh, little <laughs> Japanese, um, I still felt really safe and Japan is very very safe um, so safety for me when I was alone wasn't a problem yeah well one time uh, I did have company at this point we were eating uh, in a restaurant and this Japanese man who was drunk uh, I think there isn't so much very big people in Japan, so he was kind of like um, touching my upper arm and like uh, squishing it, <laughs> or like <laughs> feeling it. Um, and I was too polite, I was like, please no, please don't. Uh, and uh, yeah, that didn't really feel great. But I had company with me, I was in a public place, <laughs> that kind of stuff can happen. Um, and the lovely waiter of that place <laughs> kind of saved me. Um, but yeah, nothing else happened. And I didn't feel unsafe uh, at evening or very crowded places. I have heard that. Tokyo is very, uh, or the crime rate there is very low, uh, but I don't know about other places, so keep in mind to, well, maybe uh, walk around when it's the daytime <laughs> and just, well, I think if you just think wisely and don't lose your head, then you will be okay. Um, one thing about solo traveling, it can be a bit expensive. Uh, when you have company, you can split a hotel room bill or Airbnb uh, flat, uh, but when you're solo traveling, you kind of pay everything yourself. Um, but you know, there is uh, last time I was in Japan, I went to a capsule hotel, which was quite cheap, and yeah, you can rent Airbnb rooms, or um, there is like um, yeah, cheap uh, options everywhere. I think some of the positive things about solo traveling is that you get a lot of confidence, and I really. <laughs> I uh, felt that the first time in my life 
I was making decisions by myself, for myself, and it felt great. And I didn't get lost a lot. <laughs> or if I did, I asked help and it was okay. And it felt like an adventure and I was uh, very proud of myself that I went there by myself and I survived and yeah I got a lot of confidence from solo traveling and I feel like you, you can be very flexible when you're solo traveling you don't have to really think about others so much and you can plan your day go wherever you want and kind of listen your own body and your own energy that what you have if you're traveling with someone else and they want to go to a million places and you kind of feel like ah oh, I don't have energy left in me to go there but you must because the other person is dreaming about doing something that they have planned and yeah solo traveling you can kind of listen yourself more And for meeting new people, solo traveling is great. Last time I went to Japan, I met this great guy in an airplane. He was from Sweden and I'm from Finland and we both were traveling solo. We sat next to each other and in the end we spent three days together in Tokyo. And it was great. I got a new friend and yeah, I have met people on my travels and spent time with them and got to kind of um, on a first travel uh, solo travel trip I hanged out with my sister's work friend who was there at the same time I didn't know her and she didn't know me but we kind of hooked up uh, at Tokyo and went shopping and had a uh, very wonderful time. Before I went to these travels I got a lot of um, or some uh, feedback from my relatives that they were worried about me uh, to, to go by myself and, and I was thinking should I not do this because of things I was hearing and if you have the same situation I kind of in the end I felt that I had asked many people to come with me I has I asked my sister and some of my cousins and my godmother and a lot of lot of people had to come with me to this trip and all of them couldn't in different reasons um, to come with me so I felt like, well, if I want to do this now, right now, I have to do it alone because there isn't anyone to come with me. And I just thought, well, if I keep waiting and waiting and waiting, I will end up waiting for years. So if you really want to do it, if you really want to go and there's nobody to go with, go solo. Because it gives you so much. It gave me so much. It gave me confidence and good memories, a lot of good memories. And I felt like I have kind of grown up a little bit more when I solo traveled. And I could see and do things that I really loved and liked. And I met wonderful people that I never forget and yeah I really enjoyed it of course there is minuses and pluses kind of, um, pros and cons but I think in everything there is and you just have to really think is there more pros than cons do you really think that solo traveling could be for you and if you really, really think that it isn't, if you feel that you would be just miserable and stressed and 
that you wouldn't enjoy it, then don't do it. But you know, it's. I think it's a great way to travel. Though I felt homesick and lonely time to time, then in the end I really got to hang out with myself. Uh, um, to like it. And that is a talent in my eyes to be entertained and be satisfied and kind of, um, yeah, to be happy, to be alone and just listen to yourself. And I was writing a, a travel journal taking a lot of pictures and videos and yeah it felt great um, it wasn't super expensive because I did go to a very cheap uh, hotel and some of the things that I did was free and yeah a plus note if you are a big like me like a XXL girl, um, curvy woman, chunky, a big girl, and you are thinking that I can't go to Japan because I'm so big. Well, for me, I felt okay with my size in Japan. Not many people, like not really anyone kind of... Um, noticed well I, I guess they did the man in the restaurant did um, but I have heard or seen a lot of comments in YouTube that people are writing uh, oh I can't go to Japan because I'm so fat or big or uh, I feel like they will uh, make fun of me or that the clothes don't fit or uh, somehow the trip isn't great when you're big, but I didn't feel like that. Of course, Japanese clothes are very small, um, so I couldn't buy any of the fashion there. Of course, I could buy like bags and accessories and scarves and uh, jewelry and yeah, that was kind of enough for me. I didn't feel that I was missing out because I was shopping a lot. Um, I didn't feel that people would make fun of me or I didn't at least notice it. And yeah, just enjoy yourself. Go out there and explore and find out your inner solo traveler yeah, it's fun and exciting and nervous and all kinds of things. But yeah, I think in the end it's great. If you have any questions about solo traveling or my trips, comment below and I'll answer. And I hope you liked this video and it gave you some of some idea of what solo traveling is. And if you hope me to make another video about this subject, let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye!